All right, guys, so I was driving around Houston, or I am currently driving around Houston today, like running some errands and stuff, and I noticed that the Harvey um, disaster slash cleanup situation is still pretty bad. So um, it's been about a month now, or maybe even over a month since the storm hit, and I don't know if people who don't live here are like aware of how Houston is. I mean, I've been traveling a lot lately, like out of town and even out of state. And every time I go somewhere, um, people are always asking me like, how is Houston doing? Like, how is the city? Like after, you know, the horrible tragedy. Um, and so I just wanted to show you guys a little bit. Obviously this is pretty sad, but this is kind of what's going on right now. I don't know if you guys can tell from the videos, but these yards are just like so torn up. I know all of these houses got flooded. You can still see a bunch of debris and stuff outside of most of them. I don't know if you can even tell, like, I don't think, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't think I'm capturing, I don't think you can capture how bad this is. This is just like really hitting home with me, I guess, because this is the area where I grew up in and I had a lot of friends that lived in this neighborhood. And this neighborhood looks like a freaking war zone right now. Oh my gosh, look. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so sad. It was actually worse. I mean, no, this is really bad. This whole neighborhood is this whole neighborhood is destroyed. Every single house in this neighborhood got flooded. And then this is a big neighborhood. Oh my gosh, I'm like getting chills. Seriously. This is so bad. I've been here this whole time for this whole month or five weeks or however long it's been since the storm hit. Look at this. Legit, this is like a war zone. I can't get over it. I don't know. I want to say most of the city feels like it's back to normal. I feel like it is because I've been, my house did not flood. Thank the Lord. My work did not flood. So I've been like going from home to work and kind of living my life as normal. But you guys, we moved a year ago. I don't know if I said this in that Harvey update video that I put up, but we moved like one year ago and one year ago the place we used to live flooded completely like the parking lot flooded all of the apartments flooded we would have been completely flooded and we would have lost everything had we not moved a year ago and i don't know i like i like i said in the last video i'm guilty i feel guilty sometimes talking about harvey and like the damage and stuff because my house didn't flood and so I don't know, I feel like I don't, it's not really my place to be like upset about it. But the whole situation was really upsetting for just like the city of Houston as a whole. Anyway, like I said, I wanna say most of the city feels like it's back to normal, but then again, I don't live in one of these houses that got flooded. And I know it's not just these neighborhoods. I know there's so many other ones. I mean, Houston is huge and this is just kind of the area that I'm familiar with, but you guys, there's so many areas all over town that got completely wiped out and it's crazy. I'm about to drive by the place where I lived last year just because I'm curious. And this is honestly my first time driving around this part of town because I was just weirded out for like that whole month. Oh my gosh, you can see they're like pumping water out of this one building over here. Um, but yeah, I just... 
not even remember what I was saying. I'm so overwhelmed by the whole situation. Here we go. This is the street I used to live on that I'm turning on right now. This is where I lived last year. So all those videos where I had the little like, hello lovely sign in the background where my wall was kind of yellow. <laughs> this is where I lived when I was filming them and I know that this place got totally wiped out but it looks like they've cleaned most of it up already. Let's see. It's right next to the bayou and oh my god it looks so bad you can actually see the water line on the windows Ooh, oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my god all of these houses are there's no one here there's literally no one living in any of these places so this is actually the place where i lived last year you can see on the door like how high the water got and how gross it is oh my gosh you guys this is crazy I don't know if it even looks that bad on camera, but again, you can tell this neighborhood is just totally wiped out. Look at the look at the water lines on these doors at how high they are. Can you see that? Can you see like where it gets light, like how it's light and it gets darker at the top? Okay, I can actually see inside the windows of this house and you can see they've completely gutted it. There's no it's just um the be like the wooden beams is all that's inside these houses right now. This is a little clubhouse, like the little pool area from the old place. It actually makes me feel kind of sick. I'm sure there are ways you can still donate to Hurricane Harvey victims. I know yesterday I actually volunteered through my company and we were, um, I donated like some diapers and we made blankets for Harvey victims, so that was kind of fun. If there's any way you can still volunteer, if I can find any links, I will leave stuff down below because clearly we are still in need of some help. I think I'm gonna go get a car wash now because driving through, I seriously still have the chills. Oh my gosh, look at these businesses. Let me know if you live in Houston. Let me know um, what's going on on your side of town. Oh my God, you guys. This whole area is so effed up. Right now I'm driving down Eldridge, uh, going south of Memorial towards Briar Forest. If you're from Houston, that's the area that I'm currently in. Very, very close to the bayou, which frankly, if you're from Houston, or if you live here, like, that was a desirable feature. Like, people wanted their houses to be by the bayou. Like, it's, we have all these nice parks and trails. I don't know, I feel like there was so much judgment online of people being like, why would you live by the bayou? Or like, why would you not have flood insurance? I don't know, guys. I feel like there was so much judgment and so much hate online about that kind of stuff. And honestly, like one of my dearest friends from my childhood, who I still keep in close contact with, her house flooded and she had, uh, lived there literally her entire life. Her parents had lived there her entire life, which basically that's like over 30 years they'd lived in this house and it had never ever flood, flooded. So tell me, would you have um, flood insurance if you had lived in your house for 30 years and it never flooded? Like would you want to be paying a couple hundred dollars a month for flood insurance when you feel pretty safe from the fact that it's not going to flood at that point? I don't know. I just feel like people are not being understanding of whatever. People online are always hateful, but I just wanted to put those two cents in. By the way, I am wearing my Invisalign in case you're watching this and thinking like, why am I talking so weird? 